What is going on guys, this is TechHD coming at you with a brand new video and today what we're going to be taking a look at is a couple products here. So this is from the company called Dinky and it sounds weird saying it and I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly but pretty much we got a robotic vacuum and we got a cordless vacuum which is pretty cool. So the reason why I'm doing this because normally I don't do these types of uh, products here usually I do gaming tech or tech in general smart home stuff but I really wanted to try it out because they offer really affordable levels where if you compare it to like iRobot, Neato or any other type of brands those are the two main brands like even the Samsung ones they're really expensive so pretty much the dinky one is going a little bit 200 like 219 and then this one their cordless vacuum is going for like 169 and they're available on Amazon so it's very easy to get them now the iRobots and stuff like that they have a range of them but they're going for like around close to 300 bucks which is usually their latest models like around 300 bucks all the way to a thousand bucks which is crazy and then with the Dyson's like you got Dyson's and other companies shark and they got cord uh, cordless vacuums theirs are going for like around same thing like 400 bucks all the way to 700 bucks so I really wanted to see the affordability and see how these companies compare to others, uh, the high-end ones, and so that's why I want to try out their robotic vacuum, and I want to try out their cordless vacuum. Now, the robotic vacuum, I have an iRobot, I have the 690, and when I got it, it was like 379, now it's going down to like 250 or so, something like that, but it's, it was, it's really expensive, of course. Now, this one, from the specs of it, it offers more and longer battery life, so usually, the 690 is going for like an hour long. This does 100 minutes, so 60 compared to 100. Not only that, but it has a much more stronger suction power. This one does 1500 PA, whereas the other one, I think did like around 600 or 800 or so. And then this one is much quieter, going like around 50 to 55 decibel levels, whereas my iRobot is going like around 68 to 70 decibels. So I'm, I really want to see how that is. And as far as the cordless vacuum, I've never owned one, so I really want to see how it is. And this one doesn't, like robot vacuums, doesn't get everything. So I want to see how this performs as well as with suction power, uh, how easy it is to maintain it, like cleaning it, uh, getting rid of the dirt and all that. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So hopefully now you guys can see me. So the first one that we're going to be taking a look at is the robotic vacuum. we got the Dinky one. This is the DK600. So they have a four efficient cleaning modes. They have a really low profile, which is good, so it could go under any type of furniture. It has a super strong, uh, strong suction of 1500 PA and then an upgraded three-point cleaning system. So let's take a look and see how this goes. So now we got the We Say Thank You. So we got most likely their user manual and all that. I'm gonna throw that to the side, as well as we got the vacuum itself. We got two AAA batteries. And then let's take a look. Oh, this one comes with a remote. So this one's pretty cool because from what the site is saying, you could pretty much control it and move it around. Whereas like an iRobot can't really do that. And I think the only branded uh, company is Samsung. And there's have like a little pointer and all that. But I really like how this is because if, I, if it misses a spot, I could just tell it to go somewhere instead of like having it run the entire thing. So that's pretty cool. So we got the charging base. Let me take this out. Okay, so we got the robot itself. All right, so we got the robot vacuum itself. We got the switch on and off power, and then we got the suction over here. So now we got the rollers, and this one I'm not a fan of, mainly due to the fact that I would like it to be more to the front, like how the Neato is, and because of that, it could get really close to the corners and get all of that, where it's like in the middle, you gotta trust in the pieces over here to push it in so when you get to the corners it's not like fully getting it all which I don't like it being here I like it to be more into the front but we got these which seem really nice so usually the iRobots struggle from going from hardware to carpet so I want to see how this performs but it looks small it looks really thin all right let's we got the little brush for keeping an eye on the maintenance like cleaning the stuff and then we got the charging base this one seems like a really small charging base Okay, so we got the charging base. This seems pretty nice, slim, easy to put somewhere. And then we got the two brushes. Oh, they come with four in total. So just in case throughout time, if they start to get damaged, you could easily replace them. 
but I like how these brushes are mainly because they're very long like iRobot. If you take a look at the needle ones, those are very, very short. So I don't think they're going to be grabbing so much. But these, I know these seem like that they're going to be grabbing a lot more. I'm going to be moving this to the side. And then lastly, we got the filter. So that's pretty cool. So now let's take a look. Switch on the power button on the bottom. Remove the sticker before. And then I'm going to remove this. Remove before use. Okay. And then I'm going to flip this around. And then we're going to put this to the side. Side brush. So, yeah. Seems like it just pushes down. Very nice. Alright. Alright, so now we got the viso here. I want to see. And then over here, we got the entire bin. Insert this side up. Okay, and so we got a filter already. Okay, so pretty much we got already a filter. So this is a backup filter just in case. I kind of like that. So makes it a lot easier. So like every couple months or so, just swap out the filters. If the brushes start to get damaged, just swap them out. I like how they already come with a couple of things. So I don't have to constantly buy them, which is pretty dope. But looking at the bin, the bin doesn't look that big, but hopefully it could hold enough. And then how do we, so do I, oh, okay. So I just still pull this down and it easily pops out. Very nice, put this, okay. And then at the top, it's an all glossy, so you're gonna get fingerprints and dust all attracted on this. You got the clean button, and then over here, you got the switch to turn it on, of course. I did not think that this was going to have power. All right, let me see real quick. Uh -oh. oh God, that's going to fall. Okay, wait. <laughs> that is actually really quiet. Okay. So that's really quiet and they do have sensors so like if it gets really close to an edge like the stairs or so that's pretty dope i like that and it's really quiet it's actually so much more quiet than the 690 that's gonna be great to test out all right so now we got that so that is the robot vacuum i'm gonna switch this back off and now let's take a look at the cordless vacuum so now taking a look at the cordless vacuum got this to open all right, so first thing that we got here, we got the vacuum itself. This looks pretty dope. I like the blue style. I'm more of a. I had no idea that this was on. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so that sounded powerful. So we got locking, and then we got an open. I want to see how this is. Okay. And then. Oh. Just uh, clean it all. Okay. Very curious. All right, so here we got the piece to immediately drop all the dirt, which is cool. And then over here we got the open for the filter, which is very nice. So we got two layers, yeah, a couple layers of the filter, which is cool. Put that back and then lock that. And then over here, you got little clips. So if you wanna clean and maintain this, this is nice, okay. Seems pretty cool. And then to lock this, I'm trying to see. Oh, okay. There we go. But just to press it, triggers it. All right, so the second one was the boost. And then this goes for like around 35 minutes or so. So not too long of a suction, but hopefully it is strong enough. And then we got the roller over here. Okay. So we got the roller that has the brush piece. And I did see that this one is for the hardwood floor. Okay. 
So we got this piece for the hardwood floor. This is mainly for carpet. That's dope. Okay. What are you? I don't know what this attachment is for. And we got the other attachment for the stick. So this one's cool. And then we got the other handheld brush. So you got the brush or if you don't want that to be. So that's pretty cool. Curious. So this extend. There we go. So this extends all the way. And then this feels a little bit flimsy, like I'm afraid to break this, honestly. Here we go. And we got screws. This is probably the base. All right, yep. So this is the base and it holds two of the attachments. And then this is to release it. And then this locks it, okay. And then one more thing from what I'm seeing. We got the power, okay. So we got the power piece, seems like we got everything. I don't know what this attachment is for. So if I were to connect it all, it should be pretty easy. There we go, okay. Let's take a look at this. And then if I were to turn it on. Kind of quiet over here in the front, but it's really loud on the back, of course. I want to see as far as this might seem like a thumb screw. There we go. I want to swap it out. It's just as simple as that. Let's see, swap this. Here. There we go. Put that here. Like with the flathead or usually with the thumb. There we go. So now, let's try that again. Does not seem like it's that fast, but we'll test that out and see how it goes. Oh, this might be. I know what this is now. All right, so this is for this to clip it in. And then this piece is to attach this. Makes it a lot easier, okay. All right, so now we're gonna be taking a look at the robot vacuum as well as the cordless vacuum. Now. One of the things I do want to talk about real quick is that the robot vacuum is not smart, so it doesn't have an app, unfortunately, so you can't really control it, as well as it doesn't work with any smart devices like Amazon Alexa or Google Home, so it's as basic as it could be. It just has the mandatory features like uh, sensors to prevent it from falling down the stairs, uh, suction power, you know, it has a strong suction power as, long as, as well as a long battery life. It could go back to the charging base, which is nice, and it's quiet and slim as possible. But we're gonna be trying how that is, seeing how it performs, as well as the cordless vacuum. We're gonna be seeing how this performs as well when it comes to uh, getting any of the edges, as well as the blinds, anything that I could really do, use this for. See how that is. So now testing out the robot vacuum, you can see that it goes anywhere and just bounces off the wall. There's no sensors on the top to scan the area and map out the house or apartment to make a pattern, which is not a problem and I don't expect it to have that feature for this price. But because of that, it does go over the same area multiple times, which will decrease the time for the vacuum to go everywhere around the house. Getting a closer look, you can see that it easily moves around the carpet and the suction power is not bad, but it does look like it misses a few things that's deeper in the carpet. After a whole runtime of using the vacuum, you can see that it did pick up a good amount of dirt and hair and the bin is quite big because it didn't fully fill it up all the way. After a second time of using the vacuum, this time having it set to max mode, it did get a bit louder but not bothering at all. It did pick up a bit more which was good and it did manage to pick up some of the stuff left out that the automatic mode couldn't get. 
it still didn't fully fill up the bin which was good so the bin had a lot of space to run it a few times without dumping the dirt constantly over and over after a time of using it. I tested the robot vacuum on both carpet, hardwood and tile and it managed to perform pretty good. I do like that the wheels are stronger than the iRobot 690 vacuum so it easily can transition from hardwood to carpet unlike the iRobot getting easily stuck trying to go back to carpet and it needs to try a few times in order to successfully do it. I like that the robot goes back to the charging station when it's low on battery so that's a feature that was not removed thankfully but I don't like that the robot stops cleaning when it's trying to go back to the base. The iRobot vacuum on the other hand continues to clean while it's trying to head back to the base. Using the remote was very helpful because I can easily have it go over something in mist and I can easily enable one of the features. Now to visually show you how the suction power of the vacuum is, I put a bit of powder on the carpet and I had the robot go over it a few times. I was controlling it with the remote and you can see that it picks up a bit but misses most of it. It actually pushes some of the powder away because of the front brushes. I had to go over it a few times in order to pick up most of it, even having it set to max mode didn't help it so much. I also had to do spot cleaning to have it pick up some of the powder it pushed away. So something like a spill, the robot vacuum doesn't perform that well. That's when you need to use the cordless stick vacuum to pick up the mess. To give you an even better visual look of the robot vacuum suction power, I put some of the powder on the hardware floor and it picked up most of it but it also pushed and pulled a lot of the powder. Now testing out how quiet it is, I got a handheld recorder and got about a foot away from it and I tested how loud it is on both automatic and max mode and I even tested the iRobot vacuum to give you a better understanding. So let's take a listen. So now after hearing that, it's actually pretty quiet compared to the iRobot and it's even so quiet I had it running overnight while I was sleeping and it didn't bother me at all. Now taking a look at the cordless vacuum, I was actually pretty surprised at the suction power. It picked up a lot of the stuff that the robot vacuum missed and using the handheld tool was even more helpful because it picked up the dirt and hair that the robot vacuum couldn't get to like in my dog's cage and next to the cage. I also used the handheld tool to pick up the dust and hair on the back of my couch, on the edges of the wall, and also on my bed where my cat sleeps and it performed really good. I even did the powder test on the hardware floor and it picked up everything in one move. That was impressive. Doing it on carpet as well and it picked up everything after a few times of going over it. Dumping all the dirt and hair was easy as well. All the pieces comes off so you don't have to worry about some hair and dirt getting stuck. So after testing this robot vacuum for over a week now, my overall thoughts with it has been honestly not that bad. You know, there are some cons to it and there are a lot of pros to it. So it kind of weighs it down. There's more pros than cons about this. Honestly, it does the job and for the price, I didn't expect so much, but it does perform really well. There are some things that's better than the iRobot, like for example, going over transitioning from hardwood to carpet is so much better on this robot than it is on an iRobot, a branded company. So that's one thing that I really liked about it not only that but the features that it provides for the price are still really good it could go back to the charging base and can then start charging as well as it goes for a longer period of time than compared to the iRobot 60 minutes to 100 minutes and testing it out on max it goes for like about 50 minutes or so so really it's not that bad now a couple things that i did want to clarify uh, that i don't like about this is one the suction power is not that great so the suction power it does the job it it picks up dirt and so on i just thought that it would be picking up a lot more than for example compared to the irobot and usually like on low like on automatic when it's quiet it does pick up but i feel like you have to do it like about three or four times a week in order to like fully clean the entire apartment was compared with the iRobot I feel like it performs a little bit better and then when I'm doing in max mode it performs better of course it does create like a little pattern or so and I don't expect it to like map out the entire apartment or anything like that and that's one thing that I just wanted to clarify that it does 
you know pick up but it doesn't pick up so much so I feel like three or four times a week like when you're not home when you're working just set it to go and it does the job and then it goes back to the charging base something very simple you know do that also like I said you could do it overnight while you're sleeping it didn't bother me at all and that's when I started to like you know see it because after a couple tries you know after a couple tries it, I can start to see that it is very clean my carpet and my hardwood so that's one thing that I wanted to specify one of the other things that I consider a con with both this one and also the iRobot 690 is that theirs is bristles and a little bit of rubber so you can see right here when it comes to maintenance like I have to every once in a while get a pair of scissors and cut them off cut off the remaining hair or dust as well as on the bristles over here on the rollers and it goes for the same thing as the 690 now when when you go to like the 800 series or the 900 series or even the 700 series on iRobot they have two rubber pieces which is so much better when it comes to maintenance so you don't have to constantly get a pair of scissors and cut the remaining of the hair that's strapped around tied up and all that so that's one thing that you guys have to always be aware of is that every once in a while you gotta take this out you gotta cut it with scissors or a knife same thing with the rollers that's something that can't be prevented so that it could perform a lot better but my overall thoughts with the robot vacuum is actually pretty good like i said it picks up just gotta do it a couple times as you guys saw from the powder test that it doesn't pick up so much but if it goes over a few times you know it will eventually pick up everything now like i said three or four times a week is good uh maybe a little bit less you know it all depends on the person you know uh, how big your house is how big your apartment is for me my apartment is 750 square foot and for 100 minutes that's plenty for it to go a few times and one run time you know but if I do it two or three times a week like throughout you know I could do on Monday then Wednesday then Friday then I should be good you know it's gonna be nice and clean I do it when I'm working so it's not gonna bother me at all that's one thing that I wanted to let you guys know about now when we go over to the cordless vacuum this on the other hand is really good with suction power I did not know how much I actually needed something like this until I got this so this when it comes to cleaning any type of corners walls on the bed on the couch you know my dog's cage and all the handheld tool is so useful one of the things that I don't like about it is that for the price you know 169 bucks I don't expect it to be amazing like a Dyson the suction power and everything the performance is really good when it comes to maintenance and like getting rid of the dirt and all the dust in the bin is very nice the only thing is a little bit of the build quality so over here this piece wobbles whenever I was you know going over some stuff even with the long piece so it's not so like locked in so that's one thing it's all plastic so I'm expected to be so locked in very easily now this piece as well is so annoying because it gets loose so if I put so much pressure it pushes down and then this piece like just I feel like I'm gonna break it like if I put so much pressure into it so that's one of the other things like durability not so great but overall suction power is really good and then same thing like you guys saw the powder test like this thing honestly picks up a lot so like whenever if I ever see anything and I'll need the robot vacuum to go over I just grab this do it really quick and it's that simple and same thing it has two speeds so like you do really like a long period of time 35 minutes or so or do the maximum speed and cut down to like about 20 or so that's usually how I do but I usually just do maximum because I'm not covering so much I'm just getting the corners or the blinds or anything specific uh, I don't really have to do the carpet because that's where the robot vacuum comes in I just have to get into the spots that the robot vacuum cannot get into with this but overall I really like the products honestly throughout time you get used to it and you see how well it performs and like I said one of the good things about the robot vacuum is that it could go easily to hardware than carpet it could go in any furniture so easily so places that you can't really reach it could go under and have no problem getting the dirt and it performs pretty good for the price honestly like the suction power is not that bad like it's not gonna perform better than an iRobot but honestly for the price like if you guys just want to get started and get a robot vacuum that provides a lot of the features then this is something for you if you guys aren't so much into the smart part of it like you guys don't care about an app or if you guys don't care about working with Amazon Alexa or Google Home then this is something for you guys you can even give it to a gift to like uh, to your grandma or your grandpa that is so not tech savvy and they don't have to worry about it they just have to get the remote hit play that's it and then just walk away and do whatever else that you need to do so it's really simple it has a lot of features but also 
are the main required features like all the other stuff is optional you know like mapping around the area to create a pattern to create a blueprint you know all these other smart functionalities it doesn't need it it performs it still performs really good and as well for the cordless vacuum it performs really good as well because i could use it for the blinds i could use it for my dog's cage i could use it in the car you know cleaning up the car as well as on the bed any places that the robot cannot get to so that's one of the things that i recommend about getting a cordless vacuum and also getting a robot vacuum just in case so that you guys could cover everything and make sure that your apartment or house is really nice but there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed the video that has been my unboxing and review of both the cordless vacuum and also the robot vacuum from Dinky. I feel like I'm saying that name wrong. So Dinky or Denki, something like that. But if you guys do have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you guys want to grab some of these, I'll have links down in the description below. And there's also going to be some codes provided from the company. So thank you guys so much for supporting this video. And also, if you guys do have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Anything that I didn't cover, I will definitely keep in touch with you guys if you guys are curious about and of these products anything that i didn't cover specifically but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever i upload a new video follow me on twitter youtube instagram and twitch as always take it i'll catch you guys in the next video peace